Good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Today we're on our way to Karamikos. Karamikos is an area of Athens located to the northwest of the Acropolis. It was the potter's quarter of the city from which the English word ceramic is derived and was also the site of an important cemetery. Apart from the Karamikos Cemetery, we will also be visiting the poet's sandal maker, the Panathenaic Stadium and a small market. Near the entrance to the Karamikos is a small museum, where many of the monuments that were discovered during excavation here can be seen. Its collections include key examples of Athenian grave sculpture, including the wonderful Kouros of the Sacred Gate, which dates back to about 600 BC. The museum also displays personal objects placed within the graves, such as pottery toy horses and terracotta dolls. This is an 8th century Pyxis, which most likely contained jewellery. It is decorated with geometric designs and sculpted horses, which were a symbol of wealth. And there's also a gallery of fine painted pottery, which shows the development of Athenian pottery and vase painting. The Keramikos functioned as a cemetery for at least 16 centuries, with the oldest isolated graves found here dating back to the Bronze Age. Keramikos is now a tranquil site where visitors can wander along the marble tombstones. Now let's make our way over to Melissinos. Melissinos, the poet sandal maker of Athens, is a historic footwear shop that was established in 1920. Sophia Loren, Barbara Streisand, Sarah Jessica Parker and the Beatles are just a few of the celebrities that have purchased tailor-made sandals from this store. After browsing their brochure of sandal designs, I decided to get myself a tailor-made pair of Cleopatra sandals. Born and raised in Athens, Pantelis Melissinos is a third-generation shoemaker, poet and artist. He studied painting and design at the famous Parsons School of Design in New York and much of his work can be seen in the shop. I take a quick look at the Panathenaic Stadium before heading off for some Greek yoghurt.
And now it's time to visit a small market. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to continue following me on my next adventure. Bye!